Hi hey, howdy, my name is John and this video is my weekly update for the week ending August 8, 2020. I actually managed to finish quite a few books this week. The first book I finished was The Plains of Passage by Jean M. All. This is book four of the Earth Children series. Now I finished this at the beginning of the week uh, and it took me almost a couple of weeks to to actually read this book. It's a, it's a big old book. It's over 800 pages. And unfortunately, the first 500 pages are a lot of description of the landscape. And so it's a little hard for me to get through that. But once you get past the halfway point, it gets a lot more interesting. I gave this one three stars. The next book I finished this week was The Tombs of Adewan by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is the second book of the Ursi series. Of course, this is the first three in the series. This book, this book isn't very long. It's only a little over 100 pages. I think it's about 120. So, very quick to get through. Um, I had trouble connecting with the main character in this book. And... As such, I mean, I, I'm only going to give this one three stars. The next book I want to talk about is The Sibling Society by Robert Bly. This is the same author that wrote Iron John. This book is more for a general audience. Uh, I'm going to talk about this more in my review of this book. I give this book four stars. Before I discuss the next book, I want to give out a shout out to the channel Literary Lives of Sarah. She gave herself a, a challenge to read 100 books in 100 days. And she posted a video about the lessons that she learned from that challenge. One of the lessons that she mentioned was how reading multiple books can see how things reinforce one another in those books. Because of her Lessons Learned video, I went back and binged her 100 Books in 100 Days videos. One of the books that she mentioned was Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom. While I had heard of this book before I watched her videos, I'm not sure I would have picked this up in the, in the thrift shop had I not watched her videos. That, that video kind of brought this book fresh into my mind. So when I saw it, it made me want to pick it up. And I'm glad I did. This book reinforces what Robert Bly is talking about in the Sibling Society. What Robert Bly means by the Sibling Society is how now in our day and age, we tend to look at our own age group to see what they're doing and we disregard both those who are older than us and those that are younger than us. In this book, a man goes back to visit his old college professor as his college professor is dying from Lou Gehrig's disease. And they spend 14 Tuesdays together and discuss life. I really enjoyed this book. It's very well written and I don't know that I learned anything new from it, but it definitely reinforced what I've already kind of learned in my own life. And hopefully I can uh, take some of the lessons from this book and do better at applying them in my own life. This is definitely a five-star read. The last book I read was A Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, wait, isn't it? A Wonderful Wizard of Oz, and unfortunately, yes, it is. This book is actually a abridged version of the novel, and I didn't realize that when I picked it up. So, lesson learned: you know, check the uh, credits to the credit page to uh, make sure that you're actually getting the a non-abridged version. It's still an enjoyable read. It has a lot of illustrations. I'm going to show you a uh, copy of the illustration. Couldn't sleep one night, so I, I got up and I was like, you know what, I'll knock this out. And sure enough, I was able to knock it out in a couple of hours because the top's big. It's got a lot of illustrations in it. And it's an enjoyable read. 
Uh, since I've not, never read the uh, original, I can't compare the two. But, you know, for what it is, it was a good read. I'm, def I'm going to give it four stars. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.